Hello friends. In this video, I will share you how to create customer invoice without sale order or a sales line. There is a two possible way. One way is free text invoice. You have to go in account receivable and then create free text invoice. Free text invoice is some kind of charges you can charge against a customer. For example, I have to go and create a new customer invoice, free text invoice against customer US double zero double US double zero one and in line I describe and here you can select any main account against customer will be debited and here I mentioned the amount 100,000 100, and when I post it you can see again that this invoice is posted and invoice number is attached with the with this pre-tax invoice so, and you can see the invoice is posted pre-tax invoice is posted and invoice is created invoice number is signed and if we go to inquiries and invoice journal and if I search the invoice created descending order with respect to creation date so you can see today's my invoice is here and if I go to a transaction you can see the free text invoice and information is debit credit or is in the transaction and this is belongs to customer trans and similarly the second way is to go in general journal a new journal and I am using USMF data so I will create a simple journal journal general journal entry and in line I take a customer and then you press double zero one and in a debit amount I enter hundred dollar and in offset account I can use any account that is necessary. I, I am going to use this bank account you have to get the right bank account and uh, you have to set the right ledger account anyhow for this transaction I am using uh, any record so invoice will be posted against customer and customers debit with hundred dollars and ledger is some kind of a bank account ledger account I set up and or in a invoice tab I can enter an invoice number so I enter direct invo double zero one so when I post this job so our general general entry is posted and if again I go to in account receivable and then invoice journal and again if I sort it again from newest to oldest you can see a same that invoice number is have we created uh, uh, general invoice general entry this and go on a transaction we can see the amount I added uh, 7 is I think for text and you can see the a uh, new invoice has a similar invoice journal which I created in a general journal. So thank you for watching. Meet you in the next video.